Well, John Jones, UFC heavyweight champion, doesn't appear to be ashamed of Jesus. He's been a UFC fighter for a while now, but something more important about him is that he is a professing Christian. He is actually the son of a Pentecostal minister. And I did look up the church that he grew up in, a, as in his childhood, and I agree with a lot of what they have to say. They believe in the Trinity. They believe in the authority and inspiration of the Word of God. They believe in salvation through Jesus Christ. But they don't teach what I would see as a biblical view of the Holy Spirit. But nonetheless, this guy grew up in an evangelical church. And he's no stranger to declaring Jesus Christ and speaking about him on the UFC mat. Let's give him a listen. While everybody's cheering and so happy, I want to acknowledge Jesus Christ. I, I tell you what, man. I, I cannot take credit for a gift like this, man. I really owe it all to him. And I know that there's millions of people around the world watching right now. And I just want to let you guys know that Jesus loves you so much. That, that's all I'll say about that. And he has done this several times before after a fight in the UFC. Advantage being closer to you. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Without him, I would be nothing. To come back and to have such a dominant victory. You know, uh, you know, first and foremost, you, you know what's coming. I got to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, I am here not to defend the UFC and say that Christians should watch it. That's a matter of your conscience. And I'm also here not to defend the things that John Jones has done in his past. But John Jones makes this own profession about himself that he is a sinful person and all humans are sinful. Let's give him a listen. My question is the question you have faced earlier, like years before. I just wanted to ask this on your, like, not the final chapter. I really hope it's not final chapter for you uh, in Octagon, but maybe in the middle of your final book. So the question sounds like this. Are you a bad guy trying to be good, or are you a good guy trying to be bad? How would you answer this question right now? So I've answered that question before in the past. It went pretty viral. Yeah, no. And But I'll elaborate on that question. Um, some people are not going to want to hear this, but in the Christian faith, we believe that we're all born into sin. We're naturally, we're all sinners. Uh, the moment that Adam bit that apple in, that, in the Garden of Eden, we all became kind of condemned to sin. And uh, the way Christianity works is, it's a decision to accept Christ into your life and Christ to accept Christ into your heart. And so naturally, my nature is... is uh, of a one of sin and that's all of us and and uh, I believe that it's our job to uh, to try to do the right things and to try to walk in the light instead of the darkness so that's what I meant when I answered that question I think we are all rotten at the end of the day and trying to do the right things now this video is not to put forth or advocate that John Jones is someone that we are to admire as a Christian per se but I do want to highlight he's sure certainly not ashamed to speak about the Lord Jesus he's very bold in front of millions of people watching in front of tens of thousands of people in the arena in front of all people Joe Rogan he is not ashamed to talk about the Lord Jesus and he's also right about his comments on humanity. He is really teaching their human inability or total depravity or the sinfulness of humanity. And indeed, humanity is sinful. First, because it's biblical. We hear about this in Romans 3.23. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And there in Romans 3.23, Paul is just reiterating in one verse what he's already talked about in Romans 1, 2, and 3. Where the Jew is sinful, the Gentile is sinful, all are sinful, none seek God, none do good, their throats are open graves. And Paul, in Romans 3, 9-20, uses the Old Testament to prove the total inability or the total depravity or the sinfulness of humanity. 
And until we understand this truth about ourselves, we'll never see the need for the grace of God and we'll never understand God's love for us. Understanding first that God is holy and that we have sinned against God is at the basic foundation of the understanding of the gospel. And if you gut God of his holiness and you deny that humans are sinful, then you deny the very basics of the gospel. The other reason why, why total depravity, total inability, and the sinfulness of humanity is real is that we see it lived out in our daily lives personally, but we see it lived out in the world. If you just turn on the news, how many of those stories there are speaking about the utter depravity of humanity? Murder, stealing, theft, wickedness is talked about 24-7 on the airways of news channels. But this brings us to the climax about the love of Jesus Christ. The very thing that John Jones said, Jesus loves you. And Jesus does love people. He loves sinners. And he does this by going to the cross for them. In John 15, 13, Jesus says, Greater love has no one than this, than a person who lays down his life for his friends. And that's exactly what Jesus Christ did. In John 10, verse 11, Jesus says, I'm the good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. Jesus Christ laid down his life, which means he went to the cross, bearing the judgment of God in place of sinners so that they themselves could be made alive. They themselves could be reconciled to God. They themselves could have their sins cleansed and their sins forgiven. The grace of God hinges 100% upon the work and person of Jesus Christ. Well, if we've acknowledged that God is holy, we've acknowledged that we've sinned against God, and if we've acknowledged that Jesus Christ has loved us and died for us, what is our response? Our response is to leave our sin, forsake it, and come to Jesus Christ. Trust in his promises, embrace his work, and you will have eternal life. Thanks for watching, and God bless.